What's up guys, so today we're gonna be taking a look at the new Moby Glass and like I said in the last video, we're gonna be going over these in small chunks, straight to the point, short videos in which we'll talk just about one particular feature and then just move on. What that means is that we're gonna be doing a short video for every feature. Well, at least the most important ones. Jeez, I forgot to put that toilet paper away. Ha, huh. oh man, it's gonna it's gonna end up in the video. I can't cut that out. So let's pop up the Moby Glass. And fair warning, I'm not 100% familiar with everything in the Moby Glass. So uh, some of the stuff that uh, you're gonna see I am seeing for the first time or reacting to it uh, for the first time. So that's just how I roll. So we got uh, the home uh, tab, the health. Yeah, we're going to go through all the tabs, by the way. Home, health, the comms. We got contracts, maps, journal, assets, rep, rep. Yeah, there you go. There was a little lag there. Uh, wallets, landing, and uh, vehicle. So let's go back to home and let's see what this, uh, this is showing us. So it seems like in the home tab, we get to see a little bit of everything. We get a glimpse of the contracts that uh, are being tracked. So right now, no mission tracked. Objectives are tracked via the contract manager app. And then we have the uh, notifications uh, that pop up here and there. We have the law, I guess your cram stat and uh, where you're at, like, or I guess like the jurisdiction, like in this case, Her Hurston Dynamics. Let me know if that's the case. That's what I'm interpreting uh from what i'm seeing uh and then we have uh vehicles ammunition fuel i believe this is if, like you can see this once you're in the vehicle we'll test that out before that like the, we we uh put an end to this video or before the video end put an end to this video so we have some environment stuff going on wow it, it actually tells you like the gravity so one point g we have uh, atmos the atmosphere it's safe obviously got the pressure uh the uh temperature and then uh radiation and then it gives us our health status i really like how this looks man it looks really cool so we got health our hp hp hit points uh we have our body temperature our uh, heart rate our oxygen and uh, the drug level another really cool thing is that this will take you this little arrow right here will take you to uh to that particular tab i believe so if i click on contracts right here that will take you to contracts if you click on vehicles obviously we'll take you to vehicles and uh click on health we'll take you to health we're we're testing this on the fly I, like I, ha I haven't tested i haven't thoroughly gone through through the whole like moby glass so notification i'll take you to journal okay yeah so journal what why didn't what doesn't it say just what what doesn't it just say journal here or uh you know i don't, I don't know <laughs> law uh wait yeah it'll take you to to rep ah, same thing so to say rep here no I, I i'm probably just plugging too much into it uh environment takes you to health because it's right here and then uh Health will take you to health. Yeah. So let's move on to health. It gives us the same information as in the home tab. The only difference that I'm seeing so far is that it displays conditions and effects and also the active drugs. Everything else is the same. We get both the uh, the health information that is displayed here and then we get the environment information right here now moving over to comms i believe this is the same ui nothing has changed here in the back in the back end of things so moving on the contracts tab has definitely been updated i don't recall this being here verified like in the last iteration so basically what this gives you is all the illegal stuff you know for all you pirates out there uh that like to operate in the uh, on the wrong side of the law this tab right here Toggle this on to unverified and, and uh, you're good to go. And then obviously the verified ones are all the clean stuff. I'm really liking this drop down right here. Really, really clean. I am loving this, this new eye for, uh, for all the contracts. For the sake of this video, let's go ahead and uh, do what everyone usually does. And that's to accept call to arms. So accept offer, you know, all the, 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 the description of the offer will be displayed here. Let's click on that and then the accepted ones 
will be displayed here, but it's taking a while to load. Had to exit out of the mobile glass like two times, but now it popped up. So accepted will show up here still the same the same way with a drop down and then the history. I believe this shows like if you've completed something and also the ones that you've abandoned and then obviously the beacons. I think I've only used this once and, and that's whenever I went down on the bunker. I created a beacon for someone to go rescue me and it actually did. So I found that to be extremely cool. I think that was back in 3.17. Really cool feature. Another thing that I'm not sure if it was here before and that's the mark all red. If it wasn't, this is awesome. I'm glad we have this now. And you can also expand everything with this little drop down error arrow not arrow arrow see there you go but if you click on it again oh it actually worked this time because i last time i did this it, it didn't collapse any of these things so cool I'm, I'm glad they fixed it well it's not working now see so it's a bit finicky still and now moving on to the maps tab this is one of the things that i was looking forward to the most wow look at this this is i think this is the the closest you can zoom in and then with the mouse uh, wheel button we can scroll all the way out we're in hurston look at that oh that's beautiful that is beautiful holding uh the right mouse button we can do this if we hold uh, the left mouse button we can like uh, rotate around really really cool so let's uh, zoom in again if we double click on our location it'll zoom in to the to the planet that we're in now you can search by location so if you click on here you can see the recent one which is herson and then all the results look at that really 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 cool i wonder does this does this search option actually work i haven't even tried it yet so if i click on yeah there you go ita or or uh ita how about if i do like microtech there you go oh this is so good i love this <laughs> i love this instead of having to like zoom out all the way out and then just look and, and then look for the location that you want to go to you can just go here and then type it in and and we're good to go look at that mag that's popping up my one of my favorite moons gosh this is so good so i actually don't know what this is over here toggle selected info panel okay so what does what does that do ah so it just turns it on and off uh okay okay so i guess if you're like looking around and stuff you you want it toggled off i don't know why i would want this off honestly but it's there and then we have the uh, toggle marker list i actually don't know how to use this yet so i'm guessing you just set a marker and it will just pop pop here kind of like your your custom ones actually let's try that out so let's go to uh zoom into where i am right now there you go and uh, place a pin i think right place pin uh confirm there you go so if i go here there you go oh nice and you can actually can you can i right click on this how do i name my pin a name pin this is a very neat thing i like this my location so if i tap two so that's my location and then you can set route see i'm looking at this right here wow this is really cool okay so i'm glad i learned something while making this video i learned something new you see we're all learning here and i can just remove it by just going to the marker data, data bank and there you go it's gone you can change the zones so we're, right now we're in zone three zone one is uh okay by the spaceport oh shoot my bad <laughs> zoom out too 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 much uh zone one and then we have uh zone two and that's the central business district and then zone three which is where we're at right now and then we have what is this floor like different floors okay so i guess this is going through all the floors all the different floors nice oh yeah floor one i guess this is broken right now so it's just displaying uh, this instead of floor one 
floor two uh yeah so two floors i think that's pretty much it as far as the map goes uh, as far as i can tell so let's move on to journal in the journal you pretty much get like news and notification uh messages like for example if we go back home it's this it's displaying the same information although you get some notifications here that are not showing up in the in the journal here and moving on to assets so assets is kind of like an inventory you you get to see what you have in, in certain locations. Like in our case, we're in Lorville right now. So let's click on Lorville or open. And then I'm able to see everything that I have here. Uh, we have different categories. We got armor, we have uh, clothing, we have uh, uh, what? L li liveries? What is this? What is liveries? Butter rock slide livery. I don't know what livery is, to be honest. <laughs> Personal weapons, undersuits, vehicles, technology, etc. If we click on the item, the information of that item is going to be displayed on the uh, right side. Time to look at Rev. And this is pretty much your standing with uh, all the different uh, organizations or, or, or factions, if you will, across the uh, Stanton system. I've done a couple of bounty hunters guild missions or uh, contracts, so uh, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm still neutral. Got to get in that green zone for the good stuff. The same with Hurston Dynamics and uh, Microtech, although I haven't been to Microtech, so I'm not I'm not entirely sure why. I mean, sure, <laughs> I'll take it. And you know what? I just noticed that this actually shows you everything as far as like starting from scratch all the way to max uh, rep which would be what guild steward we were first an applicant and now we're a probationary guild member nice next up it's gonna be a junior guild member guild member senior guild member veteran and then finally get guild steward guild steward yeah guild steward and it seems like it's different for every organization like if you go to hurston dynamics you'll see that the farther you get into the ranks you start getting like a payment bonus, which is really cool. And then we have the dossier or dossier tab. <laughs> this pretty much displays the uh, information of that organization. In the wallets tab, you can send money to your friends and vice versa. Let's actually head to the spaceport so I can retrieve one of my ships so we can uh, go over these last two tabs. While we're making our way to the spaceport, one good way to tell if you have your helmet on or off is by this. Right now I have it off, so this is kind of displayed like in red. So if I put it back on, this is gonna change. There you go, it's like squared. Off means circle with red, on means square or square means on uh it's the same thing let's keep going so now that we're in our ship we should be able to see some ship information in the moby glass so let's pull it up and yes as you can see we're able to see as you can see we're able to see wow uh some information uh, about our ship the crusader c1 spirit we can see the ammunition which is uh what 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 does it say or or ordinance ordinance yeah, this is I think that's that's bugged ballistic and then we have the fuel uh this is stat rated criminal and neutral yeah this they they need a i guess they need to address this hydrogen uh quant and quantum yeah quantum so let's click here and then you have the connectivity in between you and your ship like if you walked walk too far or, or get away from it if you walk too far off that's the way to say it you'll lose connectivity to your ship or uh, let's just say wi-fi <laughs> you'll lose that you'll lose that wi-fi connection if you get too far and by clicking here this will take you to the vehicle's information all your vehicles that uh, you own will will show up here and the landing tab that only displays once you are in the pilot seat let me let me test that out I believe so. So let's get in our pilot seat. There you go. It's going to spin us around. And now let's pull up uh, our Moby Glass one more time. And let's go to landing. And there you go. Here you'll be able to repair your ship. Repair your ship. Wow. <laughs> and then uh, restock. 
refuel quantum uh, and refuel hydrogen so this was my quick overview of the uh, mobi glass i would love to hear what you guys think of it so far do you like it do you hate it if you like it why if you hate it why and if you hate it how can it improve to get you to where you like it please let me know in the comment section below also make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more star citizen content and other shenanigans i will see you guys in the next one zero haze out